Well, it was a stressful day. A very stressful one of that. You know? It's actually hard to walk around France <laughs> when you're a foreigner. I swear to God. So, what happened is, a few days ago, I was planning to go to the Netherlands because I was, uh, because I was in, um, I was in Brussels and then I stood for, for a refugee line or maybe asylum line because I know it will be more easier in discussion with an individual in the Brussels office, right? So I was like, okay, if I can go, if I can go seek asylum in Brussels, I might be outsmarting the person there, right? I might be having my freedom as well, right? So I tried. I stand for the line for like two hours, eight hours, 10 hours. Finally, it became morning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In the cold, I feel so devastated. And I was leaving Brussels, so I was trying to leave the place where I was uh, standing because they did not choose me. And then I wanted to walk through down to the metro station so I can go to the main three bus station, right? And then I start walking. And then I walk, walk, I go to the train station. But there was a guy that was holding my luggage because when I wanted to go stand there, I didn't want my box to be with me. It's very heavy. So, this guy that was standing with me, I, I went to his shop because he was the first guy to give me food to eat that day. So I dropped this box to the guy's shop and then I went for the asylum seeking for two days. But luckily the first day was actually good. And I slept in a hotel. I met some of these guys that were very nice. So they gave me a hotel, close to Crystal Hotel. So I enjoyed it. <laughs> so the other day I said, okay, since I enjoyed that night, let me try to suffer this other night, right? So I stand outside the whole of the night and then they came back and told me to get the fuck out. So I get the fuck out. And I had to go to that guy again to go collect my bag back. <laughs> I walk, I go to the guy, the guy's shop was closed. I don't want to stand outside like a thief at that 10 o'clock time. So I was walking again. I then I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk. I walk. When I walk, I walk so the then I finally I came and saw the guy. And then one old woman like that is a scammer. <laughs> that woman is a scammer. The woman said you have food, right? As a big boy like me, you said you have food. Go collect the food come with her. No. He said, Me go, me for my man, I said this is my girl, go give me food to chop. <laughs> this man, this man, now this food, now I go buy ten euro. Now me collect the food back, my leg come. We carry me go to the job, I come back. I say, Jesus Christ, where I come for you now? So, but because of I was hungry and I need something spicy, I had to. So I've eaten now, right? And then I took the box. See me, galut guy like me, right? And then I sat in the train, right? When I sat in the train, the train passed me again. Went me inside the train stop, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Inside that train stop, it's hot as fuck. <laughs> So, I was inside the train shop, right? I was there, I was there, I was there, I was there. And then luckily, the train started moving. And then I came out from the main train station. And then I go, I collected the ticket to go to the Netherlands, right? So, the woman gave me the ticket to confirm one hour, 30 minutes. I was like, okay, within this one hour, 30 minutes, if I get the right train at the right point in time, I can sleep for one hour, 30 minutes in the train, and then I drop to another line, right? Lie. <laughs> as soon as they say, train is come, I go, I show this, this security lady. Hey, lady, watch this ticket. The lady watch the ticket. I said, that's the train. That was not my train. Do you know where the train took me to? Paris. <laughs> Paris? You can be in Paris. <laughs> But you cannot get out of it easy. <laughs> okay. So I collect that train to Paris, the train start moving annoyingly to me. And then a few minutes when the train start moving, they told me, hey, this train is to Paris, so 
I said, Jesus is Lord. No, I'm not going to the I'm going to the Netherlands. The train started moving. So, when the train started moving, I found myself in Paris with a lot of snow. <laughs> Snoring on the train. The girl that was sitting close to me had to get out of the train very early. I had to get off the seat very early because... I was snoring on the train like a baby, according to what I noticed, because uh, it was very disturbing. Everybody watching you, so and then I, um, and then I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk, and then the train stop, and then I walk come to Paris. I said, okay, let me call a ticket. Maybe when I go there, the man said, can I give you a ticket again? I said, like, nigga, this is my bus stop now. So now as I'm talking to you, I'm in Paris. I was able to go seek for logistic, right? They have this logistic space where they give to foreigners. One thing about Paris, they don't want to know if you're a boy or girl. I don't know why. They give us space. This is the space I'm here right now in Paris. And they give us some food too. So they, they, the, insult, the, the insult part of it, they say they give me five euro. <laughs> Every day. That's what I need to spend five euro. But as big as I am now, right? like this, right? As old as I am, right? Tell me what five will do for me in a day. When um, a normal time, if he's in Ukraine, now and I'm not in. So I said, okay. So now I'm in Paris. But that's not the problem. Of the problem now is I'm inside, 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 inside Paris. They call it, they say, not, not a Paris. <laughs> that means you are lost in the north. <laughs> So now we are here. We are here. If we cannot get out of here, then we will not die here. Because since we are here, we need to find a way to go back over there. So when we are there, we will come together and celebrate that we are here. Have a good night.